Old Alabama Gardener on dehydrating comfrey leaves. There are at least uh, a couple of reasons why you would want to dry or dehydrate comfrey leaves. And so this video that uh, you're looking at now is another one of my series of videos on things that we can do with comfrey. First, we got to go pick some comfrey. Now you can use a knife as I'm doing here, or you can do it the way I'm going to show you in just a moment. This way is much faster, so you just grab the comfrey leaf and tear it along the main rib and it'll come right apart pretty easy. Of course you want to wash it and uh, I give it about two soaks in this water to make sure there's no dirt left on it. Okay so this is the leaf rib that come out of all the leaves and you can use it too. Um, I have lots of leaves so I decided not to use these ribs today. If you decide to use the ribs, be sure to cut them into about one quarter to one half inch lengths, otherwise they're going to take about two days to dry. So here we are, we got the comfrey leaves all uh, washed and the ribs removed and we're ready to go into the dehydrator. Once the leaves start to get pretty dry, the fan inside the dehydrator will kind of blow them around. So you lay the, another piece of the dehydrator tray on top of them to hold them in place. Herbs such as this comfrey always needs to be dried at a low heat and over a longer period of time. So we're going to set our con temperature control to about maybe 95 to 100 degrees. I don't usually be concerned about how many hours I dehydrate them. I just dry them until they will crumble easily. So to get them turned into comfrey leaf, like you might think about tea leaves, just grab some of them between your hands and start rubbing them and uh, the fine parts will fall out. I want you to notice uh, how green the leaves are still looking. Now if you dehydrated that comfrey at uh, say 120 degrees, those leaves would have turned brown, which would indicate that you dehydrated it at a too high a temperature. So here's our dried comfrey leaf. So now let's make us a cup of tea. I have a cup of uh, hot water and to that I'm going to add about a three finger pinch of dried comfrey leaves. After I kindly get it stirred in, I'm going to put a cover on it, that white plate there, and let it set for a while. Now let's strain it and have our cup of comfrey tea. Now the FDA says that the comfrey tea, as I've made here, can damage your liver. So do your research and uh, judge accordingly. It tastes about like a, a cup of uh, black tea, maybe a weak cup of black tea, or maybe a cup of green tea. 
What is the benefits of comfrey tea? Minerals. The plant draws minerals up from down in the ground, deposits it in the leaves.